Right, so this is Marley from the Black Father Support Group and I'm rambling today, yes, I'm out in the nature, in the woods, um, look at that beautiful grey sky and uh, <laughs> there's like zero light coming from the sky, it's, it's so overcast, but you know, I wanted to get out and um, I thought it'd be kind of cool to do my weekly wrap up from here this time because I, you know, hey, different um so yeah today we're talking about protection like practical physical protection of your family and of your children specifically and what prompted this video was the recent video with r kelly in the huffington post uh, piece but we had a couple of other people um, wondering what's this negro doing talking about R. Kelly in the woods. It doesn't sound, it doesn't look good. What the reporter did was basically get him to start talking about the allegations and uh, rumours, I think with the word, of paedophilia um, that he's been involved in. Countless rumours of paedophilia. What was really fascinating was how his whole body language changed even like the way he was breathing, if you even watch it, just watch how like even the way he breathes changes when she starts up questioning him about that. Did you notice how he was so defensive? How he would just like, you know, hey man, let's not talk about negative stuff, let's talk about positive stuff. This chat to your peoples and see how they react to this conversation. If you find that there's someone who's being extra defensive about it, yeah, keep an eye out on that person. Give them a side eye because what I think is that some people get real comfortable with the idea of, you know, uh, paedophilia and abuse of young ones. So to them, they're going to they're gonna protect that or they're going to try and change the subject. What I'm happy to see was that his was that he did a video begging people to buy his his album um, because his album sales were flopped and i assert that his album sales were flopped because more and more people became aware of the fact that he's a dirty old man and that he's willing and able and happy to prey on young underdeveloped black girls being a father of a young underdeveloped black girl I can't mess with R Kelly anymore I can't even listen to his music if I hear his music I'm just thinking of what kind of bastard this is so no I don't have time for R Kelly what was interesting is that you know I was talking to a sister about this this thing and what she said was that she felt like so well this uh, reporter was just on a mission to to badmouth R. Kelly, to just uh, make him look bad when he's trying to do something like promote his album. So what we have a paedophile who has, um, now shall I say alleged paedophile? Well, we've got a videotape of this grown ass man peeing in the mouth of a young girl. So whatever you want to call that, I'll leave it to you. But uh, just so I don't end up getting getting sued, or well, the father's group getting sued, I'm going to use the word alleged. But you know where, where, I, I, where I personally think this is. So we have people like that who are willing to, um, to defend that kind of behaviour or those kind of actions. We've gotten so used to um, that kind of level of behavior to just go on rife within our families and within our communities that we don't take it that serious you know there's a there's a thing that goes on where it's like the shame of people knowing that someone has been uh, abused in the family is greater than the need to oust that person so our job as fathers is to be protector of our children. 
you don't know where the predator is going to be. Your teachers, that could be um, your pastor or you know your reverend or whatever religious organisation you're a part of. They could be your. Um, you, you can't. You can't see them. They don't have a uniform. They can be anywhere and everywhere. I remember. Let me turn the camera this way because it's getting a bit bright behind me. I remember there was a a time about 15 years ago and my friend was showing me a video of his uh, showing me a picture of his daughter she must have been you know five six at the time and I was like oh isn't she cute she looks, she looks really good she's really growing up nice and he was like hey be careful what are you trying to say about my child and I was offended because I was like what are you talking about you know I'm here just trying to give you a compliment and you're taking it to mean something else. I don't understand back then because I didn't have a daughter myself, but now that I do, I'm exactly the same. I'm exactly the same. I'm like, okay, you know, look, but don't stare. I'm kind of a bit, bit, a bit over the top about it, but you have to be. And also you mums as well, you sisters as well watching this video, you too have to be extra vigilant because a paedophile could see you with your child boy or girl don't get it twisted and you know they could see you as someone who is a potential uh, easy target you know if you're a single mum you know it does mean that that comes with a level of struggle a level of difficulty and it's so much easier when you have someone else there to be able to work with you know just in the day to day and you can find a nice charming single man who's there willing to you know, come into your life and be a part of that. And what you'll find yourself doing without even noticing it is that you're not only evaluating that man on how good you are, but you're evaluating that man on how good he would be for your son or daughter as well. He knows that. So he's going to be great. But the problem is, is that if he's on a mission to get close to your child and you're on a mission to be able to meet someone that you could share a life with eventually and very quickly he could be the person that is either picking up that child from school or babysitting that child where you go out to the shops or go to the hairdressers or something he can be the person he could be the spook that sat by the door that's it's like that so we have to be so vigilant about these people because they're everywhere people who are raped or you know people who, who have been brought up um, and abused ho households grow up to be abusers themselves. So this is something that grows exponentially. It's not something that just happens, you know, just one person just happens to have uh, an extra an extra genome and decides that's what they want to do or that's, that's their preference. No, this is something that actually grows and becomes more and more prevalent. It's something that this video may not have been necessary 20 years ago, but it's necessary now because it's getting so rife. So if that's the case, We've got to start really being careful about who we're associating with and who we have around our children. We have to protect our children at all costs, all times. Our Kelly is a dirty bastard, in my, in my professional opinion, and I wouldn't let that man or his music anywhere near my child. Stop with this forgiving business for paedophiles. Stop with this forgetting about it. Don't forget about it. Don't give up on it. It's something that we have to all start doing because, as I've said before in previous videos, this we're in a time and we're in a system where we are being picked off and we are being systematically destroyed. So we have to now be extra protective about our own and about our young. So that's what I need to say about it on this lovely, cold December afternoon in the middle of the woods. Uh, I hope this has been of use to you. This is Marley from the Black Father Support Group. Until next week, signing off.